Helen and I retired in 2011 and moved back to this family farm in the spring of 2012. We were first approached by a TransCanada agent. The Keystone will go through our land. The pipeline will be approximately 600 feet from our house. Nebraska is the last hope for stopping the Keystone XL pipeline. Okay, we will build our own pipeline. We will build our own pipes. That's what it has to do with, like we used to in the old days. President Trump calls for America first, and I don't know what school he got his geography in, but Canada and TransCanada, it's a foreign country and a foreign corporation. So it's not putting America first, it's putting Canada first. This farm is the farm that I grew up in. It's been in our family for over 100 years. I don't want things to be totally disrespecting the livelihood that my folks had. Okay, right in line with me, going that way, is where it comes in to this property. We have found ourselves constantly battling this thing. And uh, regardless of President Trump just saying, okay, I'll call up the governor of Nebraska and talk to him about this pipeline, it's not that simple. You know, farmers, ranchers, and the Native American tribes, we've worked together to fight the Keystone XL pipeline. And if the Public Service Commission in Nebraska grants them this permit, Helen and I have decided that we will do everything in our power to stop this thing. We'll be out there on that line when those bulldozers come, and they will have to bulldoze me over before they can come on my property. They will not be allowed to come on this land. I don't feel that there's much opposition in our area to the Keystone Pipeline, so it'll make a huge impact on our lodging and our eating and our, our convenience stores. Mm -hmm. When the Keystone Pipeline comes to town, they add a lot of labor force from our community. I would say, you know, I, I don't know if, if this pipeline, as far as, you know, making America great again, if it's going to impact a lot of jobs here in Nebraska permanently. But a community like ours, there's always people looking for part-time temporary positions. Mm -hmm as well that actually might leave the job they're in temporarily just for a better paying job. I think that the Keystone Pipeline has been put on the back burner for way too many years and it is definitely something that President Trump got taken care of as he promised and has got that moving forward. Do you like Trump? <laughs> no, and I'm a Republican. So I don't know, I worry, I worry, I'm, I'm afraid. I'm afraid for our future, I'm afraid for his lack of experience and um, I don't know, I just cross my fingers. Hey. We'll see, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Tell me what you think it's gonna mean for your business. Maybe a purchase of a new car, you know. That, that much of a difference in business. Do you think it's gonna make America great again like Donald Trump says it will? That alone? No. Will it help make America great again? Possibly. It'll help be, you know, 1%. Why? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I...